Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Natasha, AKA Wellness Diva Chronicles Keto, coming back with another banger for you guys. This one is amazing. I know you're gonna enjoy it. The whole family will enjoy it, especially the kiddos. Guys, I'm sharing the ingredients that I use for the recipe below in the description box as well as in the video. But keep in mind with videos like this, it's really hard to get it spot on. So do not drag me in the comments. It's just an estimation to get a framework. You can never really gauge it when you're dipping and dredging and frying because all the ingredients that you use are not absorbed in the end product. I'm just gonna give the chicken a nice little rinse and then put it in a beautiful brine and let that meat tenderize a little bit before I start cooking. Then I'll generally splice the chicken just so that as much flavor as possible can get into it and add a little bit of oil, whatever I have on hand to help the ingredients, all the seasonings combine and help with the marination. Usually go ahead and just flavor the chicken with some real salt. I had Redmond's and of course my Garlic Lovers by Flavor God, some onion powder, whatever I have on hand, but this is a common combination. Some black pepper, some smoked paprika, and of course, make sure you season both sides. Some of the deal in the Wellness Diva Kitchen, I want my food marinated quickly, so I utilize my food saver, and we were good to go in about 15 minutes. Now on to the breading. This is one of my favorite new ingredients. These peely nuts are so amazing. They are activated and they have Himalayan sea salt and coconut oil, they are just the best. I add that with some Parmesan cheese and then reincorporate the salt, garlic lovers, and other seasonings. Nutritional yeast and herbs de Provence. I feel real fancy when I say that one. <laughs> Both of these just make everything taste better, so I added some of that. I had to keep it scrappy and just add some of this pork rind base mix that I had in my freezer. ahead and combine the dry mix until it's a bit crumbly that's going to be the dredge for the outer coating of the chicken so you don't want it too refined a little bit chunky go ahead and add your oil of choice to your frying pan or in this case like a Dutch oven frying pot and let that heat evenly don't heat it over an angry heat a medium heat so that the heat is steady you can use a thermometer or Grandma made Violet's method of sprinkling water to see when the oil is ready to start frying. I generally do a three-step dredge, so I dip the chicken tenderloins in the coconut flour, then dip it in the egg wash, the egg white wash, and then in the final dredge for the coating. I like to get my oil between 240 and 260 degrees for frying. You don't want it to get too hot, just a real steady heat. I got a little help from my cooking thermometer, but the Maeve Violet Grandma method of testing, flicking a little water into that pan to see if the oil sputters is always tried and true. Sometimes the thermometer says that it's a certain temperature, but then it will burn the chicken. It's just too hot. So use whichever method you like. Cook the tenderloins for about six minutes total. 
drop them in and then flip them at a certain point just to make sure it's cooked evenly on both sides even though it's deep fried I still like to do that for safety and when you see they're lightly brown they're ready to come out then just go ahead and continue to fry all your tenderloins until you're done So many different sauces go well with these chicken tenders. I whipped up a very simple honey mustard sauce for my first try. I then tried it with tartar sauce, it was very good. And I would also recommend using a sugar-free barbecue sauce, like the one made by G Hughes. Amazing. All the links for products used are in the description box below. The honey mustard recipe shown is essentially one tablespoon mustard, one tablespoon mayonnaise, and like two drops of liquid stevia. There you have it, your family, whether they're keto or other, the kids, everybody is gonna love this. The tenders came out so juicy, succulent, but crispy. It was amazing. You guys are gonna love it. Make these today. Enjoy. Also, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you do enjoy the videos, it really does help the channel so I can bring you more recipes just like this one. Thank you.